Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, look on the new map for all platforms today. This is the European countryside by Mr. Zero Oito. Uh, uh, maybe that means uh, zero, o zero 08, I don't know. It is for all platforms. It's 256.17 megabytes to download. It's very, what should I say, picturesque. It, yeah. The colors, the landscape, uh, the city is full of life, even though somebody's having a bad day. <laughs> but yeah, and there's a lot of uh, you know placeable uh, vehicles like this all over the map, and the slot count is a little bit up there, but uh, like I said, it's got a lot of details. Uh, it's 48 fields, you got a lot of productions, and yes, you have collectibles. This is actually the only one I found. It says in the mod hub that there is um, several of these. You know what? We could just check the... Uh, here we go. 20 collectibles. There we go. But all of them have different value. Uh, it all depends on uh, the, the difficulties uh, to find it, so to speak. So this is uh, pretty easy to find. So this is a thousand. I don't know what the most one is uh, valued for. But anyway, let's jump into the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. So you can see the map itself, the arable working area is not that big. Uh, what do you start with? Well, you start with a farm area and field one, two, three, four. And uh, they are all more or less ready to uh, harvest, which is pretty cool. Uh, field prices are not that bad. And some of these fields also come with a chunk of forestry. Uh, all of these with, you know, edging to the edge map, so to speak. But what you also can buy is the area where you have all the, uh, this is where all more or less all the cell points and factories are. So you can also buy those areas if you want to place down any silos or sheds or anything. Uh, it is uh, a normal in-game factory, so it works as normal. You need to buy it uh, if you want to use it as a production. Uh, you got a sawmill, animal dealer, it's over here. There are, well, I don't want to say there are any other farms, uh, but there is an area here, field 26. You have some buildings and a field. Uh, animals, well, you start actually with, I think it is a hundred chickens on your farm. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, you have some uh, crossings over the river here. One of them is actually pretty interesting uh, because you cannot use it. <laughs> uh, BGA, yes, the BGA is over here, but you need to buy it. Uh, usually, you just need to buy the BGA itself, but on this one, you need to buy the land. It's 213,000. And uh, once you buy it, then uh, the icon for the BGA will pop up. Um, contracts are available. Uh, as you see here, yeah, we got 99 chickens and one rooster. Um, let's see, you know what? I think we're going to start with, yeah, you start here actually. And this is uh, one of your vehicles, this farm truck. And I think we're going to whisk around a little bit in the area here. I'm not going to show you all the... Uh, factories, but you get a feeling of this area. I really like the uh, the concept with you know um, a small city with full of life. Oh, camera collision! I've said it so many times. Why can't we get camera collision mod on console? <laughs> this one. Here we go. We are now, and let's see the map here. We went from the shop and all the way down south there and this is the uh, debris crusher and here we go again one of these cool placeable vehicles so this uh, seems to be a normal in-game uh, 
you know, stone crusher. Uh, it's probably just a cell point because there's no place you can take out lime. So the only cell point for stones is at this point. Ooh, yeah, there is traffic. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, most of this area here, like I said, is um, cell points, factories, it's so different uh, than Wild Western. So if you go to the map, you can see here we have cereal factory, oil mill, spinnery, dairy, tailor shop. Uh, cheese dairy, carpentry, everything you need actually to do productions. And as you can see, the forestry area with some really nice and long trees. Uh, I think this is, uh, you know what, now I need to take a shortcut here. I think this is maybe like... Um, neighbor uh, area of Haut Baileron uh, there are at least one cell point which is called Haut Baileron and this uh, drome, not drome, but dome over here on the right side I think that's also on uh, Haut Baileron if I'm not wrong so now we're gonna move northward and there's actually a pretty nice feature here just by the animal dealer and it's here actually yeah so this is also what I mean uh, the map maker has really you know put some extra into it here we got some road work and uh, what he's done he has made a, you know a secondary route Whoop, around here around the area where there's road work and yeah you can see uh, on the far way back there you can see the bridge and yeah isn't that the same bridge as we have on I want to say not Erlingrad but uh, oh the uh, Alpine DLC map oh you, my mind has gone blank now <laughs> Also here some not placeable vehicles and to get to the animal dealer you need to go around here. There we go. Also here TMR mixer placed by the uh, animal dealer. So we started there at the shop. We went down to the stone crusher, we briefly looked at the production area and we went up here. This is where the road work is. Now we are at the animal dealer. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive back here and we're gonna go over to the sawmill. Yeah. Animal dealer here and it says we have a hundred chickens. There we go. And yeah, all all of your vehicles are, uh, what should I say, really dirty. Uh, but everything is in 100% shape, so to speak. There we go. Ooh, slow down there, buddy. But yeah, I, I like it. The fields are not big, you know, small to medium uh, vehicles. Some of the bridges are also limiting you with some... <laughs> you cannot get some really wide vehicles over... Oh, I forgot the shop! Oh, shoot the maker! Uh, the shop is actually pretty nice. It seems like, uh, you know, uh, ordinary... This, this uh, church tower also. Oh, what's the name of the map again? Uh, Erlingrat, is it? Ah, okay. Anywho. Yeah, but this one, you can enter. Chuk, and look here. Shed lights on. You know, like a hangout area. While you're waiting for your vehicles to be fixed. Because on the back side here, this is the workshop. And your workshop trigger is just here. 
and it's a really nice drive through. You come in here with your vehicle, place it inside here, you go for a coffee while they fix it, and you drive out on the other side. So th this is probably the nicest workshop I've seen. <laughs> and there's probably uh, some, uh, you know, some collectibles here and there. Like I said, I haven't been looking that much, but I'm pretty sure you can find some here. There we go. And these sheds also are workable. And inside here seems like a forage harvester, which is yours, but this is also, you cannot enter it, it's just a placeable. <laughs> so, yeah, I like it, I like it. There we go, I'm creating a traffic jam, me and the deer. Let's see, I need to pull my map up here, there we go. And let's see, yeah, we're going over to the sawmill. And to enter the sawmill, um, but it's not difficult, you just need to know where you go have to go. <laughs> and I first, if I look, if you look on the map now, uh, I'm on the main road here, and I was driving in here, but that's a tunnel, so that's not the way to go. You actually need to go to the left here, and this is the. Let me just drive over here. This is the other area, um, you know, with some buildings and a field. You know, if you want to start from scratch. I don't know if you can remove these. Let's see if you go into... You probably have to own them. Yeah. There we go. But you know, place a doormat sleep trigger there. And uh, start from scratch here. But yeah, a nice French picturesque map. And here we go, this is the BGA, and as I said, looking at the BGA, there are no triggers, uh, nothing on here. You also have a biomass uh, heat cell pointer and a water trigger, but yeah, you need to buy the whole land here to be able to to buy it. You can of, you can of course sell products here, but... Uh, if you want to produce, you know, digestate, uh, you need to buy the land. There we go. Also here, I drove a little bit uh, wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive, uh, I'm gonna drive a little bit wrong. The correct way is in here to the left. But you know, I I wanted to see what was over here. Also this, you know, a bridge over a tunnel. <laughs> really nicely worked. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, you don't get any further than here. This is, this area is blocked, so to speak. So you need to come around the other way. Let me just fly over here. You need to go in here, in there, and there we go. And this is um, a normal uh, sawmill where you take out your um, uh, wood chips. Uh, you can buy it. You sell your wood over here. This is the trigger for selling wood. And if you buy it, you can produce planks, which will spawn in this area. So yeah, nice area. So what I think we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna drive up again towards the BGA and I'll meet you at my farm actually. Yeah. Jump around, jump around. Whoa, 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 okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take off recording. <laughs> so, 
So here we are in more the farming area where all the fields are and as you can see the, the fields are not big but you can always you know get rid of some trees and plow in between so these uh, four fields here are your yours actually your, <coughs> your four starting fields and this is the farm area with a really nice gator and there are a lot of these light poles around I couldn't turn them on I think they might are these kind of uh, automatic uh, you know lights turning on in the evening so this is the farm area um, you got a big shed you got a sleep trigger you got a wardrobe and inside the garage there is the you know the uh, Sega PlayStation <laughs> where you can you know deliver your collectibles uh, you got a farm silo you got a greenhouse which is fully functional and it's already filled up with water uh, and you got chickens back here and you actually got chickens so now I think it's a good thing you know look at the equipment start equipment so you have a lot of things. Like I said, slot count is a little bit high. It's 1374. Uh, I sold everything. I sold all the buildings. I sold the chickens. I sold everything. I got the slot count down to, what did I write down here? 1142. Uh, if you start on farm manager, the slot count will drop down to 1093 but then you don't have anything um, let's see and yeah it will when you start on farm manager it will look a little bit like this So there we go, we are back on New Farmer and yeah, equipment we start with. <laughs> you got two small tractors, a 205 and a 145 horsepower tractor. You got a harvester, car, trailer. You more or less got everything to start up. You even got a low loader, which is pretty nice. Uh, there are no mods which are brought in by the modder, as le at least what I could find. I usually go into cedars and planters and also tractors, sometimes bee technology. They put in some uh, mods, but I haven't found any. And uh, neither when it comes to animal um, pens. What's really nice what's, and what's really rare in FS22 is that you actually have something in your silo. If I walk into here now, you see I have 45,000 liters with wheat, which is nice. And you also have something else. Uh, over here, yeah, you got your greenhouses. If I go in here, you can see it's filled up with water and it's turned on tomatoes. And this is what I mean, you know. It looks dirty, it looks worn down, uh, but it's not. Uh, because if I go into here, into vehicles overview, uh, everything is 100% repaired. So it's just, you know, it's just dirty, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> Uh, and here, over here we got chickens and uh, like I said we already got a uh, hundred chickens and they've been fed they are ready to go the egg pallets will spawn over here and you got you know, like you see also here everything is dirty dirty oh you dirty animal uh, and this one is filled with fuel, so we got 5,000 liters with fuel. There we go. Really nicely sheds. And this one, yeah. 
this one contains something uh, really nice actually uh, which uh, you know brings even uh, yeah you are completely ready to go ahead I don't know if I've seen this shed before but yeah it's nice good a class painted Valtra there we go so yeah this area here look at this Doot. oh yeah you got fertilizer seeds and lime you got liquid fertilizer these are normal 2000 liters and herbicide but back here I've never used these guys before but these are 6000 liter and 6000 liter with liquid herbicide oh <laughs> liquid fertilizer so yeah they, these are not uh, you know these are not uh, placeables because if I do something dramatic here now and I sell this one or demolish it uh, you can see the pallets are still here <laughs> the sleep trigger you can sell if you want like so so <laughs> there we go okay now now we're starting from scratch here we need something and this seems to be floating a little bit or is it just me uh, maybe let's see if I jump in now does it drop down oh yeah <laughs> that was, I haven't seen that before let's uh, let's check the other one let's check this one I just want to try it one more time let's see the tires now oh no this one this one was already on the ground this one isn't but anyway uh, so that's the farm area and you can also sell these big uh, light poles over here uh, let me just check my notes here just saw a short video of the paint texture uh, nothing special there uh, the area where I am now we are down here by the grain mill and uh, like I said this looks like um, a bridge which you can cross but yeah you can't because the ma <laughs> map maker has placed this guy in the middle so there's no way to remove this and yeah I thought this might be some kind of production facility but it's not I cannot even enter this stairway here so I don't know what's going on oh there we go but anyway so yeah there's no roadworks either on this side and if you make some you're not going to get further than this uh, I haven't checked the water for fish. I don't think there are any fishes here. <laughs> oh, I need to get up. I need to get up. Uh, there's just one little thing about the uh, next facility here. And that's this one. This is the grain mill. Uh, which, you know, serves as a cell point. But if you buy it, you can, you know, produce um, flour. Uh, and the pallets will spawn here, but you need to buy it. But the buy point I couldn't find anywhere. But then I saw a, you know, there is like a blue light over here. And when you walk up to it, let me turn on the help window. Doot. Buy production point 96,000. So yeah, the <laughs> even though if you don't see the trigger, it's there. And this one reminds me of uh, how. Baylor on also so yeah it's uh, it's a nice one it's uh, picturesque it's small to medium uh, fields a lot of forestry if you want to do that 
uh, more or less all the production facilities. Let's get an overview here. But yeah, there we go. That's the. Uh, oh, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> no. That's the European countryside by Zero Oito. Or Zero Eight, I think. But anyway, thanks for watching. And yeah, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you know what I haven't tested is to drive into the river. I always do that. Just to, just to you know, just to check. <laughs> it's probably a little bit far away to place your own bridges here. I know there are some uh, bridge. Oh, okay. It's too deep. <laughs> but anyway, I'm out. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.